The blimp is very similar in many ways to the, the mothership in Close Encounters because of the way it was photographed and the way it was lit. It had a zillion different uh, fiber optic light sources in it. It had these beams of light coming out of it, which were identical optical systems as the beams of light we used on the uh, saucers in Close Encounters. We had these little fiber optic bundles that came up to a prism that was remotely controlled with little rods from uh, radio controlled servos so that the, the beam of light could be aimed, aimed around and actually could be controlled by the motion control system. And then we used the same photographic lenses on the 65 millimeter camera so the lens flares are identical to the lens flares you see in Close Encounters. It was how we were able to get a tremendous amount of production quality very quickly at very little cost. There aren't nearly as many shots in Blade Runner as there are in Close Encounters, but there's a wonderful kinship between the, the density of the atmosphere and the techniques we used. Uh, the, uh, the images on the blimp, the off-world images, as well as the images on the sides of buildings were all uh, done with 35 millimeter projection onto uh, textured plastic. Uh, every shot you see is four, five, or six different exposures uh, because some of the exposures, like if you see beams of light like this, um, that beam of light would only be there because that exposure is being made in smoke. So that was a smoke exposure. Other uh, shots where you see a very bright lens flare, like this one, um, that's, that's one pass that's no smoke. So it's partly smoke, partly no smoke. Um, when we had to project images onto the blimp and onto the buildings, uh, that was a no smoke pass because obviously you'd see a big beam of light hitting the side of the blimp and we didn't want you to see that. So it had to look like it was illuminated from inside like some giant uh, LED graphic display. There's this wonderful scene, it's my favorite shot in the whole movie, of the blimp flying over the roof of the uh, of Bradbury building in downtown LA. We had no time to shoot a plate for that, uh, and by the time we were, uh, Richard Urasich and I were allowed to actually take a plate for the ceiling shot, looking straight up in the building, the whole crew was leaving and going off to some other shoot. So Richard and I arranged to set up a 4x5 still camera on the floor of the Bradbury building, looking straight up. And then Richard would open the shutter and say, okay, shoot. And I would run around the building with a big strobe flash, all the different floors, basically lighting up, accumulated lighting on the building over a series of strobe flashes all onto one frame of film. And then that photograph was blown up onto a very large cibachrome or C-type print, which was glued to a sheet of glass. And then very meticulously, our crew cut out all the glass so that it was just the ribs because the, the building ceiling was actually opaque. It had been painted out a long time ago. No sunlight actually came into the Bradbury building. And then we were able to position the blimp directly behind this glass and the camera directly in front of the glass, light the photograph, light the blimp with all of its exposures, match all the moves with motion control, and shoot the whole thing with many of its passes in smoke. And it's just, I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful shot.